So have you ever gotten a PDF uh, and you want to try to edit it on your Mac or your Windows computer, your PC, whatever, and, you know, it's almost impossible to try and keep that formatting. You end up botching the formatting all the time. So, you know, I've done it uh, and I know exactly how you guys are feeling if you've tried to do this as well. So today uh, I'm trying this new piece of software and uh, Tenorshare actually sent it out to me. It's the, I don't know how you pronounce this, PDNOB, PDNoob, I'm not too sure. Anyways, it's a powerful PDF editor that uh, basically keeps your formatting intact, which is awesome. We want our formatting intact, but it also includes uh, things like OCR, so optical character recognition, uh, AI tools, and some format conversion. So, you know, you're going to get this all under their one, their one interface. So in this video, I'm going to try to walk through as much as I can in regards to this software. We'll talk about how to download it, how to install it. Uh, we'll go through a small usage case and show you some possible real world scenarios, scenarios, scenarios um, where this could save you some time. So what I'm going to do here is we'll start, we'll actually go to their website, which I will put all the links below if you guys are interested. And uh, we'll kind of go through the download phase on a Mac and uh, and then we'll we'll go through it from there. So let's let's go this way. OK, so nice and simple. I'm just going to bring up some stuff here. This this is the, the website that you guys will go to. And as you can see, it's the number one PDF editor edit OCR works smarter. I guess so. So as you can see here, this is the website and this is a, available for both Mac and Windows shows on there and you'll see the download link nice and easy. You just click on this. So basically when you click on it for me, you're going to get this right a little flashy guy here and and off she goes. Boom. That's simple. So when it goes to your downloads folder, all you're going to do is you're going to open this up. This should come up here. I have it right there. Click. Are you sure you want to open this? Yes, I do. Right. And you're going to see I, I've read to it and it's going to install. Now, I've already installed it, so I'm not going to, uh, to install it a second time because uh, I'm never a fan of trying to install things more than once if you don't have to. But anyways, once it installs, it will ask for a bunch of different kind of permissions to different folders, especially at least on the Mac. So your documents folder, your desktop, your downloads, because again, it needs to have access to these folders so that uh, it can write files, it can read files, et cetera, et cetera. Basically, once you're done and it's up, this, this is, this is, this is it. Welcome. Welcome to PD noob, PDN OB, PD noob, I guess. And you do have the ability, I'm just running on a, on a demo version, right? You have the ability to buy this. Uh, and, and if so, you can log in with it at that point, which I'm guessing would be a beneficial. So what we'll do now is we'll try to open a sample PDF. So you can click the edit button. I think there's an edit button somewhere here. Maybe file, file, maybe. Aha, open, right? So we have an open button here and we can create. So we have our open. So we're going to open a uh, PDF. Now, I wonder if I can, because I have one here that's I know is not. So if I hit the plus, will it just open it? Duke. Uh, I would say. I would say we're still in the software. So my guess is yes, this is this is software. So I'm trying this is just something from from a, a little motorcycle rally thing that we were doing before. So let's see if we can actually get this to function. So uh, if you have a scan document oh, a scan document, I've got lots of scan documents. Let's start with not a PDF. Actually, I actually scanned a whole bunch of documents yesterday. So for my claims, yeah, claims. So this, this could be one too. So if I drag this here, just open it up. Yeah. So as you can see here, this one, we're going through our claims. So we have to go through all the stuff, right? So this is it. Let's, that seems even better because that may be a lot of times what you and I are working with. And if it, these are like just scans of images. So let's see that right off the top, we do have the OCR. And this is one of those things that I, you know, on, on Macs, for instance, they do have a really good, 
uh, just PDF reader, right? And some ability to edit, but no OCR. So if I say OCR, bloop, scan to editable text, scan to searchable text in image. Uh, uh, let's do the first one, right? Current page. Oh, no, I want all pages. Let's go. Oh, log in to use OCR. Maybe I can just log in with this. I'm going to log in just with Google. Hopefully the a free a free dealie will let me do this. Authorization successful. Cool. All right, perform. I have one file left. So just realize I'm I'm doing it on a a big one here, right? Go. Did I say everything? All pages. Yeah. Boom. And there she goes. And again, this is like 40 40 50 pages all images. So we're going to let this scan and uh we'll see we'll see how to how this functions, I guess. All right, that seems to be done. And uh, hopefully you guys can see this. If I scroll here, can I zoom up and down? No, but I have a little search bar here. So it's, oh, it's kind of cool. Like everything has been broken into these sections. See that? Image, text, right? A text box, text box, text box. There's that little image there, text box. And if I double click on that text, well, that's cool. Actually, I like that, right? I can actually go in here and highlight this. And it shows me my font, so I could be like, no, let's change this to Georgia, which it did. That's cool. And I can strike through. So if you were doing editing for somebody, we could be like, no, let's uh, let's just do a strike through on that, which will give it a strike through. Can I, can I change the text? I can. Hello. How are you? This is my bike. Or it was for those of you that realized I had a fire and lost my bike. So sad. Click. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Look at that. And maybe you're hearing be like, oh, everything was good, but the price was wrong. So the actual official price was was eight hundred and ninety nine dollars. Right? Did I did I click that? Oh yeah. Can I undo? Yes, I can. So I come here, click. Click, click, eight ninety nine, right? But I'll come back in here, return. Yeah, that's that's actually, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. Just the editing alone. I was always when they were saying, "Hey, try it out." I was like, "Yeah, okay, I could edit stuff on my on my on my Mac normally." No, not like this. I can't. Right? Even even this image, you know. Look at this image. Can I move it? I, I can even move it. Look, I can move the image around. What? I can move all this around. And I can even, I can even rotate it. Oh, that's awesome. Again, without formatting. Here's my little, little Indian guy, right? I can move that down a little bit. Bring that. Okay, that's super cool. That's super cool. I like that a lot. That's just kind of basic, right? And you have the ability, of course, you can add text, add an image, add a link. So let's say, for instance, the the Indian one here. Well, let's see the handlebars, right? So the handlebars, I could actually add a link to it. So if I wanted to add a link, I should check on a page that you want to create a link. So yeah, so I just, I would say, put a link on this and jump to this website, right? Open, or you could jump to a page. Open a website. So if I said, I don't know, I don't even know what it is. I'm going to say go to me, right? YouTube.com slash Greg Tube. That's my, go there. www. right? Apply. Perfect. Now, if somebody highlights over this, right? Then, of course, I'm in edit mode. But then, it would just jump to the website. Mm -hmm. That's cool. I like that. Um. Some other cool things, just so you guys are aware, because these are things that I would do. Uh, we have all this simple things. Yes, very cool. Uh, let's open up another one. Let's come back over to this guy here, right? So we have the ability to, let's say you want to merge PDFs because you've created a whole bunch and you're like, oh, this should just be one. You could merge. You could come here, right? Click this, merge them all. So you could have add files. So if I want to add another file. I could, you know, I could say, oh, I want, I want, I want these ones, all these, all these ones on here, open all this, right? 
it's going to have to download them, as you can see here. But you can merge them into a single PDF to send, right? There they are. Yeah, merge. Bing. And what happens is, look at that. Look, I got all these on a single. Now I can export that as one big PDF. Love it. Love it a lot. I do. Uh, delete that. Don't care. Um, and we have compress, which is, again, big. I just sent a big a file, again, for my insurance claim. Uh, it would have been nice to be a compress list like this. So if I hit compress, 56 megs, compress level, you know, they don't need super high quality. Let's go middle qual quality, right? Compress, let's go from 56 megs to, oh, I got to put it in a source directory. Um, oh yeah, just where it came from, that's fine. Yeah, compress. It is, uh, I'm guessing, oh, there it is, compress. Did it compress anything? I don't know if it compressed anything. It, it's it started oh that's i see zero percent it it shrunk almost nothing <laughs> just so you know so mine is images my guess is if you were doing text it would actually convert a lot better so let's do this ecic one okay just to see so don't think images are going to get compressed very much this one is uh let's do a compress here this one is 243k again that's not huge to start with let's go compression level let's high quality sure compress do we make it smaller uh yeah two percent well i guess whatever smaller is better so you are getting that yes um and then we got we have this ai ai sidebar hello i'm an adf an adf i'm lacking coffee this morning Good Lord. To use AI, you need to upload the document to there. After upload, you can summarize the document. Okay, let's summarize it. Yeah, start. Okay. I agreed. Right? Uploading. Just find out. I like AI stuff because maybe it's like, yeah, you can summarize this and it will tell you all kinds of goodness, you know? I'm not 100% sure why that's... Oh, it's because it is in French. I'm like, why is that coming up in French? Right? Just because my PDF is in French. That's why. Okay, let's let's do this one. Let's do this one, which is a bicycle thing. Upload. Yes. Nine hundred and ninety no nine. Do you want to save claims? Sure. Sure. That all seems good. Okay, let's go back to AI. Uploading. Honestly, so far, you know what? I don't think it's overly expensive this piece of software. So if you are, you know, someone that's doing stuff like this, right? working with pdfs a lot i don't work with pdfs a lot but i do enough that i i even think this would warrant um paying that little bit of price for it so i uh, it is it is uploading as of now supposedly i'm gonna have some beverage yes sir have some beverage yourself it's my r2d2 mug and it seems i don't know if you guys can see the bottom it seems to be using there it is right this provided text includes various product listings and descriptions predominantly related to motorcycle parts, accessories, and apparel. Key items mentioned include a mid-rise handlebar priced at $900, some jackets, da 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 All right, so if I, this is using ChatGPT4, you get two options there, DeepSeek and ChatGPT. So I could say, can you show me the motorcycle exhaust? and tell me about it because i know there's a motorcycle exhaust there well it's thinking harder the information yeah the motorcycle exhaust mentioned is a thunderstroke and power plus stage one slip on exhaust coming for the okay so it does have the ability to search it searches and does all that kind of stuff so that could be useful um and again this is using chat gpt4 I, my thought would be that if you're using it with a, a standard PDF, not something that was all image-based, you'd probably have a better ability to search inside it, you know, for things like that. But it's still found, right? Found it, which was good. That's helpful. And as, you know, almost all AI, it is going to get better, right? Better to kind of tell you. What I do think this would be cool for is, let's say someone gave you, you're at work, and, you know, someone has the, you know, the end of meeting notes where they have everything that you've talked about. You could just upload that PDF here and say summarize the whole thing and it'll give you a nice little summary. I think that would be very cool. Uh, OCR is very cool and the editor 
uh, is actually really cool. Hmm. So let's see what else do we have here? Anything? Any? Any? Any more extra? Oh, see, oh, we have these ones here. Comment. So you can comment on them. Edits. Convert. All right. So if you want to convert, can you convert this? Oh yeah. Create another PDF to a Word document to an Excel to PowerPoint to an image. PDFA, more, batch, comp, convert. So if I want to do this to a PowerPoint, right? I'm going to just click on that. I'm going to make 40, I'm going to make probably 42 slides. Yep. Right? And you have your different formats there that you can kind of do. That's cool. That's all right. These could be, you know, really good starting points for making a PowerPoint presentation. So I like that. That's nice. And um, what else does it have here? Page. Right? So it's actually, oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that. Just. It's nice and simple. Shows all your pages. You can put a protection on there. So you can put a, an encryption on there. You can probably put a copyright on there as well. And tools. There's your kind of the ones that I was playing with at the start. I like this little piece of software. I do. I like it. So if you were to buy it right now, for instance, now, I have no idea how much this would cost. Lifetime. Look at that. 59 bucks. That's excellent. Because if you were to go out and let's say buy... Uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro or something like that. Now, I don't know all the stuff that it can do. Um, my guess is you're not getting that anywhere near $59, just so you know. I think that's that's the bargain right there, right? That's the bargain. That's the one you want. Any, anyways, uh, I think this is a fantastic uh, PDF editor for, again, for Mac and for Windows. And as we saw, it actually lets you edit, convert, and even chat a little bit with... Um, AI, I guess. So I really think it kind of competes with some of those really big name editors, like I said, like Adobe Adobe Acrobat Pro for a fraction of the cost. So I think that's really good. So anyways, uh, I will have that link down below if you guys want to try it. Uh, and if you do, of course, and get this on there, because I do believe that if you export now, you will get a watermark. But if you don't want to watermark, uh, no formatting issues. Basically, it's super simple. I love the fact that it comes up, after, especially with the OCR and all that. You can just modify everything. I think that's awesome. Um, I would definitely go for it. I'm I'm honestly pretty impressed just for the fact that, you know, I, when they approached me and like they said, you want to play with a PDF editor? I was like, no, not really. I don't know. But then they're like, try it out. And I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, I'm I'm really, really glad that I did because I think it's actually pretty cool. Anyways, um, if you think you would use this, you know, drop a comment down below. I think it's really neat. Um, and uh, that's it. This is PD Noob by Tenorshare. I'm going to call it PD Noob. I could be completely wrong. Anyways, links down below if you're interested. And we will see you guys next video. Head later.